We're recording? We got this? <laughs> nice. Let's freaking go, boys. All right. Uh, I need to find a funny way to start this. Um, I got it. Hold on. I need something. Hold on. Wait a second. the dog in the hallway there's the dog say hello dog say hello to the dog excuse me uh, hey champ uh, I'm gonna break my pants doing that shoot um so hey champ uh, you your old pops wants to talk to you about something eh yeah, you, you want to have a conversation, me and you? Come on, come on, champ. Sit down, sit down, come on. <sighs> Enough of that nonsense. Hey, everyone. I'm Keegan from the Cheap Panda YouTube channel. But you obviously already know that because, I mean, I'm rich and famous. Come on. So I wanted to make this video to let everybody know what's going on, what I'm going to be doing, and some things and changes that are be coming to the channel and my content. So I've been doing videos on YouTube for almost two years now. I'm pretty sure in March it'll be exactly two years. So that's coming up pretty fast. I've seen a lot of growth and a lot of support and I really, really appreciate it. All of it from you guys. Hear me, I love you. I love you. Did you hear me? The dog's running away because I'm yelling. I... So I've noticed there's a lot of gaps in the content that I make. I, I upload, you know, when I upload on YouTube, there's normally like three or something months between projects. Uh, I really want to upload more. I really want to produce more content for you people. But that's very difficult for some people, especially for me, because I do a lot of things. I do school, I'm writing books, I'm trying to do YouTube videos, I'm a gamer, I do games, I be game. You know, I do all these things, so I don't necessarily have all the time in the world to just you know, come up with video ideas and record and keep building upon the lore that I've made for Cheap Panda. Especially now, since I'm making more high profile content like Tax Evasion that took over a month to make, I really wanna do more of those things, but that means that I'm going to have to spread out my content even more. I want to, I want more high quality, but I want more quantity. And I was thinking, how do I have both of those things? the next few months, I don't know how long this is going to last. I just want to try new things and just kind of experiment with my content. For instance, and I know some of you gamers might not be too keen on this, but I actually started a TikTok account a few days ago. But that seems like TikTok, oh, I'm going to do the renegade. Ooh, renegade. Charlie. Honestly, I've been looking at um, the content there and kind of how how TikTok works differently than other platforms, especially I've seen it in my friend Danny the Two, because Danny the Two has also started a TikTok, and I've seen through him how different that platform is. Studies and research, I've kind of found that, that there's a lot of benefits that TikTok can have because of its unique content style. For instance, TikTok is a very easy way to record. You just get on board a video that looks edited in about a minute. It's very simple, very easy. It, sh it just feeds off of the imagination. Personally, after being on the app for just a few days, I've had so many ideas. I've got like 10 drafted videos already made of, of comedy sketches and, and, you know, that would help stimulate my imagination and kind of help me to just put content out on the internet. Because I don't want to, I don't want to wait, like I said, three months between each big upload. I can, still, I can still work hard in these big, large-scale videos, but in between, I can do lesser content that's a lot easier to make, like posting TikToks. I follow my TikTok is Panda 64 I'll put it right here above my head so you can go check that out. If you have TikTok yourself, you can type that in the little search bar and give me a follow. I'll, I'm gonna every day. That's my goal. It might not happen, probably won't, after like a month of it or whatever. We'll see. I wanted to do is experiment with Instagram and YouTube and those different features. You see, YouTube has a feature called Shorts, where there's a section on the page called Shorts where you can go and you can just kind of just browse short videos and load videos, put hashtag Shorts in the title or the description, and it'll appear on that page and people can just scroll and it just kind of shows, similar to TikTok. So I'm thinking it's just an experiment. I might try this. 
just kind of posting sketches. I might record them on TikTok and just move them to YouTube. We'll see. Whatever I want to do. I want to just kind of do posts and post around. You know, uh, post some of my videos on Reddit. Post some of my videos on Instagram. Post some videos on YouTube Shorts. Just to get more content circulating out on the internet. Just to try to get my creative juices flowing and see if I can experiment with some of the algorithms that exist out there. And I, ju I just want to spin it. I just want to experiment with the internet and see how it works and try to figure this out process. I'm still a young creator just trying to put his name out there, just making videos for fun, and I, I don't understand how algorithms work and how the site works. So I kind of want to experiment for myself and see how that is. I just wanted to inform you of what's going on. Uh, I'll be posting a lot more content on a lot of different sites, so just be ready for that. Not all of it's going to be good. Not all want to put more content out there. Uh, just be quantity. But I'm still gonna be posting um, large scale videos every few months just so I can still have some quality there and things that I'm really passionate about. For listening to me blabble for all this time, I'm going to go finish my tea and definitely not cry that she left me.